Hi, in this video, we are working to recover our AOL password. So we are gonna start by having Jessica sign in with her username. So she will start by typing that in. And then once she has done that, she is gonna go ahead and click next. And then on the next screen, instead of typing in her password, she's going to go ahead and click Forgot Password, which is then going to take her to this next screen where she has a couple of recovery options. She can either have a text message, phone call, or a code sent to her. But if she says she doesn't have any of those other ones, she can click and it takes her to the screen where it says, uh-oh, we can't recover your account online because there's no other options. So at this point, she can visit the help site. So she'll click that link, which will open the screen here, and it gives you some options for how they can help. Um, if you are willing to pay for it, you can pay $4.99 a month, and you can call and speak to a real person. If you don't have that option, you can click the password help here and it will walk you through what it is that you can do. Um, unfortunately, it is a little bit limited. Um, if you can't get into your email, you unfortunately can't change the password. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the sign in helper, which takes us to this screen. And so what it wants you to do is to get started, it wants you to give your email address, your recovery phone number, or a recovery email address. In this case, the account didn't have a recovery email address or phone number, so Jessica is just going to type in her AOL email, which is what she happens to remember. And now she'll click continue. And it's gonna take us back to that screen where we have the option to receive a text, receive a phone call, or email a code. And it looks like the code can be emailed to her Gmail account, which she thinks she remembers the password for. So we're gonna select that option. So now that we've done that, we are going to try to log into her Gmail account. So she's going to type in gmail.com. We'll now wait while it loads. And now she's going to enter her Gmail username. There we go. And now we will go ahead and click next. We will put in that password. more complicated the password, the longer it takes you to type. <laughs> and now we will go ahead and sign in. And now that we are into her email, we will see that the AOL verification code is right there. So she's gonna click on that email. And she is going to copy that code. So she's gonna highlight and there we go, and she will copy that. She will go back to her AOL screen. She's going to enter that code by pasting it in right there. She will hit verify. And at this screen, she has the option to create a new password or do it later. And in this case, Jessica is gonna be brave and she says she'll do this later. And at this point, it will take you right into your inbox. So there we go. 
we are now into Jessica's AOL. As you can see, it's going to load that front screen that we first saw, which is AOL's default. She just clicked Mail. And you can see that it has three right there. And her AOL is loading. And we are into her inbox. And it's at this option that it would probably be a good idea to go into your settings and update your passwords and add some recovery information like a phone number, email, um, anything you can to make sure that you can access your email in the future. But for now, we're going to go ahead and sign out. And we are done. And that is how you recover your Yahoo password and create a new one. Thank you, everyone.